Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how you can create an item drop window where we can select to drop all items or just a specific amount of items. As always, here's the preview. As you can see, when I start to play and pick some items up, and I press I, I click on the item and I press E, you can see this a new item drop widget will appear. I can change the amount of the items to drop. You can see here X4 and I can say confirm to only drop three or say drop all to drop all items. In this video, we will only work on the UI. The logic will be in the next part. Let's start with creating our widget blueprint. Create a new one and call it WB drop item window. Inside here, pick a canvas as the parent and add a border and a vertical box to it. For the border, set the anchor to full and zero everything out. Change the color to a darker color and set the opacity to 0.3 or something else. So we can see the UI behind it. For the vertical box, we set min and max anchors. I will use 0.35 and 0.65. Or centering in the middle. With that we set the anchor to a percentage of the screen. After this zero everything out. Now let's work on the inside. Add a border with a dark blue color and I also center the border first. This will be our background. Then add a vertical box and a text into that vertical box. Next we get a border as a simple separator. Change the padding to only two on top. Add a padding of 10 to the text. Then I add a vertical box, which will be our slider container. Inside that we add two texts. A horizontal box and inside that horizontal box we want a slider and a text. After that we change the top text to select amount to drop, which is our title. You can change the font like I do, but you don't have to. Click on the border and set it to fill so it's centered and then the slider to fill 2. Click on the container vertical box and give it a padding of 10. The inside text box could also be formatted and the text should be set to item X. And make sure to set is variable to true. Give it a name so you can identify it in the code behind. Same goes for the second text box. This will be drop amount. The text box right from the slider will be the number amount. So this needs to be a variable too. The slider could get a padding of 10 to the sides. The last pad for the UI will be a button container. For that, pick a horizontal box, pull a button into it and a text into that. The button tint should be a little bit darker than the background. Then copy the normal style into the hovered one and change the color to a lighter or darker. Then set the text to a smaller font. Click on the button and add a padding of 10. Change the text to drop all and also set is variable to true. And you can also change the name of the variable. Start to copy and paste the whole button two times. Change them to confirm and the other one to back and change the button name.
After that, let's add a second separator and move it to the bottom. Now go to the graph and pull in the slider and search for set step size. Get another slider and search for set min value. And for both, set the end values to 1. For the max value, we need a new variable, which will be our item. So create that and pull it in. Then from the slider, get the set max value and plug the amount from the item into the max value. Last but not least, from the slider get the set value and we set the max amount also as the default value. Go back to the designer, click on the slider and click on the on value changed event. Back in the graph from the value search for snap to grid. With that, we change the slider from a smooth slider to a stepping slider. Then get a slider in and from that set the value to the return value. Go back to the designer and now let's add the on clicks for our buttons. From the back button, we can directly search for remove from parent. For the other two buttons, we need to work on our blueprint interface. So open this up. And inside here, create a function drop all and a function drop item by amount. Click on drop all and add an input, which will be an item name from type string. Click on drop item by amount and here add string and an integer. Back into the graph, add a new variable called inventory ref. This will be a reference to WB inventory. Pull in the WB inventory and go back to the uh, WB inventory and make sure to compile it because we added new functions to the blueprint interface. Back in our item drop window, we get the drop all message from the inventory ref and we get also the drop item by amount. Connect them to the buttons. Copy and paste the remove from parent and connect it to the drop all and the drop item. Pull in the slider, get the value and then pull it into the amount. For the item name, get the item, break it and get the name. Make sure to connect it also for the drop all. Now let's work on showing the window. So go to the drop item input action, pull this a little bit out here. After the is valid, get a branch. Move also the item data and the break to the left. Then expand it and get the amount. Check if it's greater than one and connect it to the branch. After that, change the true and the false branch because if it's greater than one, we want to create the widget. So from the true branch, create a is valid check and from the is not valid, we create the uh, widget. Select the item drop window and then promote it to a variable. After that, add it to viewport. Then pull in the item drop reference and put it into, into the is valid. From the item drop ref, get the item and use the last click slot and the item data from it to fill it. Then get a branch. Again, get the item drop reference and search for the is visible and connect it to the branch. If it's not visible, select add to viewport.
Oh, and I forgot to expose the variables. So go to the item drop window, click on item, instance editable and expose on spawn and do the same for the inventory WP reference. Now you can go to the widget and right click refresh nodes and pull in the item and get a reference to self. Make sure that you connect the item drop reference to the add to viewport function. Now let's create the binding. Go to the item drop window, click on item X and click create binding. Get the item and break it. From the name search for append and add a pin. The B pin will get a spacebar and to the C pin we connect the amount. Then I set it to upper and after that I connect it to the return value. For the text box near the slider, click also on a create binding and get the slider in and from that get the value. Connect it to the return value and now we are ready to test it. Connect it to the return value and now we are ready to test it. Press play, collect the same item. Press I and now click on the item and press E. And as you can see, we have here our small drop item window where we can change the slider and click on drop all or confirm. In the next video, we will work on the logic behind the drop all and the confirm button. But for now, that's all. See you in the next one. Bye.